Welcome back to RideBits. In this video, I would like to show you how to set up flat rate zone to zone pricing. This feature is especially helpful if your company does a lot of airport business. This is generally a very competitive service type, so setting flat rates will come in handy. Starting from the dashboard, I'm going to click on Settings, Rate Setup, Set up flat rate zone to zone pricing. What I'm going to start with for an example is setting up an airport. I had previously done a Google search for my first airport to confirm the address. I'm going to start with JFK. The zip is 11430 code JFK. All I have to do is go to step number one, set up zones field. Since I am familiar with the airport code, I'm just going to enter JFK and click the Add Zone button. Next, I will need to assign the zip code for that airport zone. All I have to do is go to step number two, enter the zip code, and click Add to Zone. My first zone is now set up. Let's add another zone and call it Upper East Side. Now I know that there are multiple zip codes in the Upper East Side area. I would like to give all of the zip codes in that area the same price, so I will add all of the zip codes for that area into the same zone. If you notice, when I create a zone, RideBits turns that zone into a button that I can switch back and forth between. By clicking on the new zone button that has been created, will dictate in step number two what zip codes get assigned to what zones. Time to enter my zip codes for Upper East Side. Finally, I'm going to create a third zone. This time, I'm going to use the Long Beach area in New York City. This is a small area that only covers one zip code, 11561. Once again, I am just going to type Long Beach into my Add Zone field, click on the new Long Beach button, and then enter the zip code. OK. Now I have set up three zones and it's time to enter my flat rate pricing. If you notice in step number three, there is a little drop down box that tells me what rate group this pricing is for. The first set of pricing I will create is just for regular customers that does not include any special pricing or promotions. So I will leave this option set to regular rate group. I am going to say that anybody that lives in the Upper East Side that wants to go to JFK will need to pay $75 for the sedan, $100 for the SUV, and $150 for the stretch limo. Since I want those customers to have the same exact price returning from JFK back to the Upper East Side, I'm going to make sure this option Set Rates on Reverse Routes is checked, then just click Save Rates. Next, I'm going to set flat rates from Long Beach to JFK. 85 for the sedan, 125 for the SUV, and 150 for the stretch limo. Once again, making sure Set Rates on Reverse Routes is checked, and then just click Save Rates. Last, but not least, I want to set flat rates between Long Beach and the Upper East Side. My sedan will be 65, SUV 85, and the stretch limo $100. My box is checked and click on Save Rates. Now, if I wanted to, I could create another airport zone. Take for example, LaGuardia. I could then set flat rates between the airports JFK and LaGuardia. Moving forward, I had previously set up a red-eye rate group. Since I have to pay my drivers more to work in the middle of the night, I obviously need to charge a different price for those hours. 
Going back to step number three, I'm going to change the setup zone to zone rates to my red eye rate group. Once again, Upper East Side to JFK for my red eye pricing will be $100 for the sedan, $150 for the SUV, and $200 for the stretch limo. From there, I would just continue adding my pricing between my zones for the late night red eye rates. Now, anytime a customer of mine goes online to make a reservation and his pickup and drop off address coincides with the zip code set up in flat rate zone to zone pricing, that customer will get the set flat rate. As an insight to how RideBits works, if addresses with zip codes coinciding with the setup in flat rates are requested for a reservation, the zone to zone flat rate pricing will always show first. If a new reservation's coinciding zip codes do not match what is set up in flat rate zone to zone pricing, RideBits will automatically default to distance based pricing. Last but not least, remember you can always test your rates by clicking on the test rates button at the top of your screen. Questions? Visit our website ridebits.com or email us at support at ridebits.com.